Hi, I'm Rebecca, and my question is, what would happen if we travel over the speed of light? Hi, Rebecca. Uh, so you asked what happens, what would happen if you could travel faster than the speed of light. Um, you obviously know that Einstein told us that the speed of light was a limiting velocity. Uh, and what that means is that you can't travel faster than the speed of light. And the reason you can't is that it would take an infinite amount of energy to speed you up to the speed of light. So, um, for you know, we accelerate protons in these big accelerators and smash them together. And the protons in these big accelerators with enormous expenditure of energy have been accelerated to almost the speed of light, 99.999999% of the speed of light. And that requires a lot of energy. But even to go from that velocity, which is very, very close to the speed of light, to the speed of light would require another infinite expenditure of energy. So you cannot be accelerated to the speed of light unless you have an infinite amount of energy to spend. The only thing that does travel at the speed of light are particles which have no mass. Uh, and they always travel at the speed of light. Now people have hypothesized that there might exist particles, which we've never seen, that travel faster than the speed of light. And Im imagining such objects uh, immediately gets you into all sorts of problems, given everything else we know about how the universe works. Given such particles, you could communicate backward in time, and that leads to all sorts of causal inconsistencies. You could go back and do things in the past that would change the present, which doesn't make much sense. So most of those ideas are not taken very seriously, and uh, it is, as far as we know, going to continue to be impossible to accelerate ordinary matter to velocities of light, not to speak of velocities faster than the speed of light.